We are here in Tallinn, Estonia, and there are four cruise ships in port today, which means it's going to be a busy day here in port and a battleship. I wonder where the battleship's from, but yeah, it's going to be busy. Well, we'll see how it goes. I think our first step is going to be to try to get a taxi out to the festival grounds. Oh no, there's a six ship. Four. The fifth ship. Well, six one, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. BF5. Five cruise ships. Oh, craziness. At least. At least. So let's see if we can pull anybody out of our life. Be aware that if you're walking into the Estonia cruise ship terminal on your own, it is a very long terminal to walk a long distance in. Once we got out to the regular road, however, we were easily able to get an Uber. And I like using Ubers because it just takes the guesswork out of going with a taxi. The Uber rates are pretty much standard. So we took the Uber out to the festival grounds. We are here at the festival gardens here in Tallinn, Estonia, here on the festival grounds in 1991 is where hundreds of thousands of people gathered to sing for their freedom against Russia. And this is how they gained their independence from Russia was singing on these grounds. And every year they still have a festival. They still gather here to, okay, here to sing together. Valbrutschik Park and where are we going AJ? Presidential Palace. Presidential Palace is where we're walking to. So we'll see what it looks like when we get there. I don't know if it's a palace, it's just an office. But we'll see. Wow, so we went to the Kumu Museum instead. We'll try to find our way to the Presidential Palace eventually. But for right now we're gonna check out the Kumu, which is an art museum. We are here at the exhibition of when Estonia was part of the Soviet Union and all the art had to be Soviet, but the truth was it was pretty strong. Picture is an example of Soviet modernism. Sixties surrealism came and it started to change things and ideas and they got a little bit bolder and that helped change the attitude towards the Soviets is when Estonian art really took off um, and once the 90s came it was open are here in the new era of art for Estonia. And we can see what it's like. We got computer screens in here. Very interesting. Over there is the presidential office and there's a soldier there and I believe the president's in today. It's a female president here in Estonia. This is the Kratokrog Palace. This is where the Tsar um, Peter gave his wife a summer palace. So this is the Queen's Palace. Used to be where the president lived but 
It was deemed to be too Soviet. So they built this, the presidential palace, and now this is an art museum of old antiquities. Go out is the problem. Oh, walking out of the Katakurg Palace, but there's still lots of gardens, including this nice little pond here. And we're looking for the tram, which we think will take us into the Old Town section of Tallinn. Onto the tram, and we're gonna ride it around to downtown, to hopefully the Viral Gate. the flower garden here just in front of the Vero gate which is the gateway into the old town of Tallinn. We decided we were going to check out an Estonian McDonald's. We don't know how it works but we'll figure it out. Walking again through the town Lots of little stands and stuff in here. Cool tower in front of us. Going up medieval stairs. St. Mary's Cathedral in Estonia is the oldest building in Estonia, built in the year 1219 when the Danes invaded the area. It is also remarkable as it is the only building that survived the 17th century. In about 16, the late 1600s, there were several fires in Tallinn, Estonia that burned everything except for this building. We are here at the Danish Garden. Where supposedly from this tower fell a man on a sword. And then that's what caused the Danish flag. And say so that it was born here. We arrived at Catswell. Catswell is how they would survive sieges back in the medieval times when the Germans were under attack. We are here in Town Square here in Tallinn. This would have been the old German um, Town Square where everybody would meet. Now there's just a bunch of expensive restaurants all over the place. And I believe that's the Guild Hall over there. I'll have to check it out. The Great Guild Hall. We're back in the 1200s. If you were German, adult, male, married, and had children, you could participate here. Nice German clock over there. Here in front of the Russian Embassy in Estonia 
and there's a silent protest going on here and a barricade. Cool. What is this? Kind of Germanic door. door. What? Oh, it's one of the guild hall doors. There was like 26 still on Pike Street, but we've walked past the U.S. Embassy here in Estonia. I don't think that's the Texas flag. I think it's just the ambassador flag. Thought was the U.S. Embassy is actually the Texas Cantina. <laughs> It's a marzipan castle. Actually, it's a church. It's the tumor church that we were in, AJ. Sure, for a lot of money. We are coming out to the other gate here. Which means we'll be seeing Fat Margaret and then we will be exiting out to the cruise ship docks. Hope you enjoyed this little walk here through Tallinn, Estonia. It's been an interesting journey. It is right in front of the Fat Margaret Tower. There were 360 bunkers in Tallinn, but they were only discovered recently to other than the locals knew about them all. Walking over to the Circle K gas station because why the heck not? I want to see what it looks like inside of a Circle K. Might buy myself an ice cream cone. Here in the Circle K, looking at all the different types of candies they have. They have Tuplas. Are like looks like they have like mm -hmm. nugget in the middle lion crisps cornies go for it milk bar go for it chocolate beer yeah a lot of them are beers flavored waters um yeah get mommy a coke zero up there. The black Coke Zero one. Okay. The only one up there it is. I got it. Well, that was an interesting experience. I got my Fabrica flavored Pringles. And H.A. got his blue soda that I think he just dropped. I dropped the Coke. Oh, Mommy's going to love that. Just warn her. Yeah. Here at the Circle K in Estonia. Well, that's going to do it for our very full day in Tallinn, Estonia. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said before, please like it and we will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.